This episode is sponsored by Zenro Clothing Co. Pick up your tees and our accessories at zenroclothingco.com and be sure to use offer code SOCRATES at checkout for 20% off select items. Also, if you're not into uh, spending the money, just check out the Zenro Radio playlist. ZenroClothingCo.com, music for your everyday. This episode also is sponsored by The Pornian Bakery. If you're located in the Pornian area of Scarborough, Toronto, be sure to check out The Pornian Bakery, say what's up to Arvel, and uh, pick up a donut or two. Baked daily, crafted with love. This episode also is sponsored by Podbean. Podbean is the podcasting platform of choice. It's the one that me and Vish use, and um, is great, you know, if you're uh, looking to start that DIY podcast yourself definitely check out podbean use uh the link podbean.com slash socratic gamers and gain one month of unlimited podcasting for free test it out build that content uh anyone could podcast right vish yep start a start a podcast and uh get your ideas out there all right enjoy the episode okay i literally just tweeted this out um because i was thinking about well, I just finished the Yeezus first part, and um, we were talking about it while we were watching it, but um, belief is the destination. No, sorry. Belief sets the destination. Our actions serve as the rudder. And it really it really got me thinking while watching this documentary that we always think of people as like this this formulated thing, like when you see them, right? You're like, you see Kanye West and you're like, Oh, that's that's who he is at that point in time right Mm -hmm. like when like you know i mean like when you're marketed something or you you see something you're like oh that's that's what it is but but that's only like the tip of the iceberg we never see the the past that got us to that point or or we never think about that that part right and i think the the brilliance of this documentary is that it's been recorded since he was trying to make it And then up until now, like it all started with that guy wanting to capture how far his journey will go. And, and then it just kept rising and rising, but all of his, um, I don't want to say like manic, it's more like it is manic, but it's like grand because like manic is the mental Mm -hmm. uh, health term for it. Um, but it's like, it's very like grandiose, you know, he's like on the best in the world and like, it, it made me think of like just how much we take for granted what we see for people. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like you see like a, let's say like you see like a martial arts instructor. I'm just thinking because I'm about to go to martial arts. Wait, you see this martial arts instructor. You're like, oh yeah, he's just this martial arts instructor. But it's like, no, he lived like a whole life or like your parents, you know, you think about your parents and you're like, oh, these are my parents. But then you realize that they have this whole backstory that led up to your birth right and then you're just picking up your own story mm-hmm. you know yeah yeah it's yeah. just yeah. yeah. <laughs> like no, no, no. I, all right cool i agree yeah there's we don't we don't see what led like all the things all the like the steps to lead up to yeah. where a person is today right or, or also the continued patterns that they carry from the past to now right to see what was the same what's yeah, still the totally. same like habits or yeah uh character of the person and what may have ch- what things have changed totally over time. totally and right. like when when he was doing the uh taylor swift thing where he's like sorry uh, to interrupt you mm-hmm. but like beyonce had the best album but like, he's always been doing that you know and mm-hmm. he's always been because i saw a drink champs recently like his mm-hmm. his um interview and i was like oh this guy seems kind of weird like like the things he's saying are so out there but like it's true like the things like it's like mm-hmm. peppered with truth but then it's it's like some statements just seem too big like you're saying like oh everyone in my family's a genius um like mm-hmm. i come from a whole line of blah blah and you're like you're like how can that be true but then you watch the documentary and he was talking about his dog they named the dog genius because the dog kept escaping and he's like look everyone in my fa- like this is back then <laughs> right. look everyone in my family even the dog is a genius <laughs> and i was like oh dude it's like it's been built up mm-hmm. over time mm-hmm. you know you were saying something interesting about um, charismatic individuals right before the podcast when we were talking about it uh, like, like um i'm trying to think what it was i was actually trying to say uh 
that they can be very influential to yeah. a lot of people. Yeah, which is trippy because, you know, when you are in these states of, like, like grandiose, like, uh, grandiose perspectives of your life, right? And then you can get other people to believe in those things. And then you can seem al- almost like Jesus-like. Yeah, so that, that adds more to your own... If people start following you, yes, that's going to add to your your thinking already that oh yeah I am a genius and, and it's just like, like it's just a feedback fe- loop, it's feeling know? fire to your yeah totally to your thing yeah but but then from the other perspective we're all looking at you like oh you must see something we don't see mm-hmm. it, it mm-hmm. really like watching this documentary and I've I've just been seeing it over and over and over but like when you ask yourself like what is the meaning of life. Right. And like ultimately it comes down to, you know, life is just a story you tell yourself. So it's like whatever meaning it is you want to ascribe to your Mm -hmm. life. Actually, I just finished um, Michio Kaku's book, The God Equation. And in that he says, like, how can there be a meaning of life if the universe will ultimately end? Meaning that there is no meaning Mm -hmm. because it's going to go away anyways. Right. right? So it's like whatever you want to tell yourself. And, And the documentary person for Kanye West, he was saying, like, the the amazing part of watching his journey is seeing how far faith can take you. And I was like, yeah, cause he just mm-hmm. believes it so strong. Right. Yeah. 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 But that's like everything, right? But like, that's a guy goes for everything, yeah. I, which is crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, that's why I like, I tweeted that thing out, you know, it's like belief sets the destination cause it's where we're going, but your, your actions are the rudder. You have to push yourself in that mm-hmm, direction. Mm-hmm. But like, think about Steve jobs, think about Elon Musk. They're yeah. all doing the same. Like Elon Musk, oh, we're gonna go to Mars, and it's like that's kind of ridiculous, but we're gonna go there. Yeah, but he's doing the actions. Or yeah, like right? The company yeah. SpaceX is doing the stuff to get to that point, right? Yeah, like, to- exactly. Like, yeah, that's exactly. the division or the belief is to reach Mars, but we well, gotta get there. How right. do we get there? Whereas, like, a that's all the work that's required. Totally, totally. Whereas, like, a lot of people they just stick to only the belief section. So, like, you can believe you're going to be great. Yeah. But you're not, you know, going to get there if you don't put the work in. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, wasn't that the problem with the secret? Is that what that was? Yeah. Yeah. yeah the secret. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Which, if you read it, it's all just about like visualization, but it's like they're not doing anything. They're just visualizing. Yeah. So you're just like stay But in your you bed. have to do the work to get to that point. T- totally. And which is crazy, you know, if you actually look into these, that's what I'm saying. We, we see these snapshots of individuals in these moments of time, but mm-hmm. you don't actually see the work that goes into it. Right. You know, because like Kanye West, he, he was taught in the beginning, he was talking about how he didn't have enough for cab fare, but he wanted these people. He wasn't signed yet. He just mm-hmm. wanted people to hear his beats. So he knew that like it was like two blocks away or something or or so it's like pretty or two miles like it's like far mm-hmm. and uh, he ran the whole way because he's like I can't afford the the fare right the taxi fare yeah, yeah. but I need them to hear this mm-hmm. so he mm-hmm. ran holding his CDs with him you know like trying to get them and then it shows like scenes of him going through Rockefeller Records yeah, Jay Z's um, yep. music thing and he's just like storming into people's offices playing me- his music for them mm-hmm. and they're kind of like oh this is cute but like can you leave me alone? I'm working right now you know what I mean but like he needed to do all those things mm-hmm. that we don't see we're just mm-hmm. like oh yeah Kanye made it yeah 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 you know yeah but that, yeah, to get to that point not, it's like how did you get there wasn't easy right it's not easy. right 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 yeah and he's he's been like championing the exact same thing so they showed an old interview and he said uh well, I was telling you how it's funny how in this one place, uh, this one panel he was doing, he said his name's Kanye West, but they wrote Kanye, and he got, like, upset, and he's like, might as well call me just Ye, because mm-hmm. I'm not even worth my full name, blah, blah, blah. And then now it's funny that he is known as Ye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, but that was, like, 20 years ago. Like, mm-hmm. he's been saying that since time. And, and like, more more recently, like, they were showing another interview when he did get, or he was just about to be signed but he's getting more famous and he said i want to become so uh important that i could drop my last name so you just know me as kanye but it's like you're actually hitting these points now Mm -hmm. and we're seeing it so like this documentary is is like astounding to watch because everything that he said he would do he's doing right you know and it's like wow 
that you really know how to manifest your reality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's just through sheer belief and like work ethic. Right. But I guess that goes for everyone, right? Like Apple, Steve Jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe yeah. Like, yeah you know, but it's just interesting that you know this is the only one that's actually been talking about it so consistently. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Three part series. Uh, it's weird that they didn't drop them all. I was like one. Yeah, um, you know what I mean. Like usually they just drop the whole thing. So I was expecting they've been to doing watch them. Uh, random ones that have been like a weekly thing, yeah. or I, I get I don't know. It's all part of their test. Probably it's all like so their marketing probably. Mm -hmm. Like, but I saw it's so funny because like, like arguably one of the most influential albums was the College Dropout. It came out like two thousand two. I think that's what it said. No, 2004. I had mm -hmm. Spotify open. Uh, 2004. And we were, I guess, like in elementary school. I think 2008, I graduated from... 2004. I think I was... It's probably grade seven. In high school or... You, yeah, yeah. You were in high for school. Me, you were yeah. probably grade nine. Yeah, because I was grade seven, I guess. Or what, whatever the math is. <laughs> but... Even still, like that's like so long ago, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I saw I did it un unconsciously, mm -hmm. and then I saw this statistic, and I'm like, oh, I fell right into it. So like, I noticed all this Kanye West stuff coming up, and I started watching the documentary. And the documentary is based on building his first album, mm -hmm. I guess at least part one is. And I was like, oh yeah, these songs were sick. So I went back and I like listened to it, and then I saw this morning like uh, College Dropout has entered into number one again after Genius came out, right? It's like, yeah, because everybody's rediscovering Kanye's original yeah, music. Yeah, no, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah. What, what's, what's interesting, too, is how socially awkward he seems, but he's just so good at music. Mm -hmm. It's like you can be so pinpoint focused on one thing that you block out other aspects of your, you know what I mean? It's sort of like, um, like if you look at the character statistics on a video game, you can have those even even mm -hmm. uh, characters, you know, like my my battle, my like melee attack is equal to my magic attack, right. which is equal to my, sure. you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, it's yeah. like equal, mm -hmm. but it seems like his is just skewed into one direction. So like he lost all other points on other areas and he's just like, his creativity is on mm -hmm. like 10, mm -hmm. you know? Well, I think because he's really good at the music, it's more focused on inner, right? Not necessarily like he's connecting with others through music, not yeah, yeah, um, true. Not, not like socially. Yeah, not socially. You even see like during the um, when when he's he's just getting signed and then he meets like uh, Pharrell Williams mm -hmm. and he's like everyone's like yo what up what up you know and he's just like taken to himself he's like yeah hey hey man yeah <laughs> like you know what I mean just like he doesn't know how to interact he's just solely interacting through music and mm -hmm. it's almost like when he's in the booth he's him his real self right you know like when he's actually listening to music like that's when you're free mm -hmm. and it actually just clicked in my head it's sort of like probably what people like mozart were like yeah or like, like einstein right right well that's what he's trying to compare it to those people that he's the genius right but i think i think those people are just so obsessed with a specific thing like einstein um elon musk also has that kind mm -hmm. of but he I'd say, I'm um, sorry, Elon Musk also admitted he has like Asperger's, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like um, Kanye West admits he has bipolar, mm -hmm. you know? We, we, all right, so let me just finish this thought. So it's interesting that these people with these, these like mental health quote unquote issues are actually the trendsetters of society. Yeah, that's why I don't want to say necessarily they're issues. They've they may help in ways that are successful in certain things there are yeah. careers that they have right so yeah yeah Keep going. right like adding uh, like issues in the in the normal sense but they're not issues in the sense like yes yes like, and, and exactly that's exactly <laughs> what clicked in my head too like when, if you go back to what we were talking about last week about like um you know awake or sleep or like yeah, yeah. are we weirdos right you know i'm like this kind of inspired me to be like no we're not weirdos like people people like 
remember like the swarm mentality of mm-hmm, saying mm-hmm. that's kind of just people with the equal status points yeah it's yeah it's like putting uh statistics to average but it average yeah they're just the average. they're just an average but they get pushed each, around, each individual is an an individual who has no but but i mean like these outliers yeah no yeah i understand that yeah so there's like certain people yeah everybody has certain outliers right uh, attributes you mean uh, certain attributes yeah. and then there are ones that are more extreme yeah yeah um so those those are weirdos quote those unquote. are yeah and quote unquote weir- weirdos but they're the ones who like push society yeah. in specific directions right. whereas most people are just living day to day right and right so it's just like same thing with like i can just think of steve jobs like his yeah. character or how he was is yeah everyone said like he's so mean he's so you know? mean but if you understand what he was trying to do it Striving makes sense perfection yeah yeah but that's not a normal thing but that's not a normal thing and, and or, that's that's what made me feel better about watching this documentary because i was like the things we discuss were like you know the things that or maybe it's not even like honestly i don't even feel like our conversations are weird i just think that people just don't talk about them so 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 here's here's my mm-hmm. here's here's what i mean it's like we'll say something and somebody's like oh that's really interesting it's like yeah, you've just never talked about it you know what i mean it's like yeah but you have it in you yeah, yeah, you just yeah, don't yeah. talk about it because it's not normal to talk about yeah that's what i'm saying so like that's yeah. that's the issue where how do you for me it's like i'd rather talk about this because this makes conversation it's, interesting it's inter- thank you yeah Wait, i don't want to have a boring, normal bro. boring like, yeah. conversation that that's that what, what kind of life is that <laughs> that's that's exactly what i meant that i started talking about this in the last podcast like what's the first thing everyone talks about the weather yeah right, it's a cold out today yeah but i'll do that to make small talk like i was i jumped on like a zoom call and they're like oh how's your day going normal i usually just say yeah, good 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 i just right. cut yeah, it off yeah. but, but then, that's 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 i think it makes sense as a starting point if you keep meeting the person i think eventually <laughs> you need to like break into you need to deeper, do something different yeah 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 or else but that's that's the scary part because then it's like what if people don't do that what if you live your whole life in this monotonous zone that's what i mean and yeah. that's why i'm like worried like that's why the question about like being awake or asleep it's like mm-hmm. you just don't you just this is all superficial you're just like on the surface mm-hmm. you know like like um i don't want to get into it yet but we'll get into it later but um because it's like off the top of my head as an example i'll use a different example uh, maybe it, it's like if taylor swift does something mm-hmm. right and you're like oh do you see what taylor swift did that's superficial right but if you're like why did she do that mm-hmm. then that's okay we're delving deeper right but nobody's like why mm-hmm. it's all just did you see yeah you know what i mean mm-hmm. and that's that's the strong distinction you know it's like oh i noticed that um catholicism is really important in the west Mm -hmm. oh that's a nice notice Mm -hmm. but to be like why is it like that Mm -hmm. that's something nobody does not most people do but they have it in them yeah Yeah. you know Mm -hmm. which is why like or or maybe you don't i don't know actually i feel like sometimes i have that conversation and people just shut down like they're just like i'm done with this and you're like oh all right yeah it depends on the person maybe there's certain levels you can't or it's like a barrier it's a barrier because it it could affect a person's belief system belief system or outlook of life yeah totally and or structure of their life right yeah. they're, they're like foundation like they're, everything yeah. i believe was a lie yeah and that's yeah that could crack a person that's not uh, a all right so <laughs> that could crack a person that could totally crack a person that's so funny you say that so like i often go through moments of crazy revelation but it's like and i go like i get very like not de- not depressed but kind of depressed about it but it's like oh this is huge you know like oh i just yeah, realized yeah, something yeah, that's yeah. so heavy like the housing crisis when i found out like mm-hmm. about affordable housing i never known about that i was like oh remember you're like oh it's like naive that you thought everyone lived like our apartment yeah and i was like what nobody lives like so it's like rather than delete that from my mind like all right that's somebody else's problem i started my mind started rolling and like why is it like this Mm -hmm. how do people solve Mm -hmm. this how can it be like this you know Mm -hmm. and like that's a paradigm foundational breaker because that broke my core i was like wait people literally live with like cockroaches all over Mm -hmm. 
there. Right, right. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then when you when you do that, it's like you have to reform your foundation. Now it's like, okay, that's the new information. Now I'm going to rebuild everything. But that's a lot of psychological work you have to go through. Yeah, yeah. you have to be... That's the thing. I think if, for that kind of break, you need to be a little bit more mentally strong to exactly, exactly, exactly. deal with that kind of thing. Because if you can't, and then... And you need like tools and like... Yeah. Because like, like if, if I was like... If I, if I wasn't quote unquote mentally strong or like had the tools to mm-hmm. be like, okay, this is, this is where it fits in or like... You know, I might I might just quit my entire job and go to a third world country and just like try and help out as much as I can, and then twenty years later realize I just spent my whole life trying to fix a problem mm-hmm. that, you know, was more of just a revelation in that moment, but it, it affected me to my core. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like you need to put everything in perspective. It's like, yeah, now you know that information, but how does that fit in your life? Mm-hmm. Like you can't just uproot your whole life to go do something. Right. Some people do that. Yeah, yeah. But then they realize later on, oh my God, I just uprooted my whole life. Oh, like Siddhartha Buddha. Remember mm-hmm. we we talked about this before. Everyone like praises Gautama for um, being the Buddha, mm-hmm. right? But it's like, no, he had a psychological break. If you actually look at that story, yeah, he yeah. spent his whole life shielded from suffering and pain. Exactly. And then one moment he saw like death and he's like, oh my God, I got yeah. it. That's a psychological break. break. It, it is. <laughs> if you actually analyze it as a like a case study yeah it's not it's not like everyone's like oh my god yeah he's like he's this leader it's like kanye west he's like yeah. the leader but it's like no they had psychological things that mm-hmm. you know are that like pushed them in that direction and their charisma was so strong that we all followed mm-hmm. you know but then it, it's scary too because then it's like our whole world is run off belief systems that's literally yeah, yeah. the foundation of everything it's yeah. like like, why are you going to build that building? Because I believe I can build the building. Like, mm-hmm. Everything in life starts with the thought and it manifests in reality through our actions, mm-hmm. which is a very yogic concept, but like, it's true. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, I mean, that's, I, I think that's why belief or in religion, why these things are very prevalent to humans. It's just, yeah, this is what makes us move forward in life. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Like, even, if you go to the very beginning, that documentary showed me like uh, the great human migration, mm-hmm. right? What made them migrate in the first place? A story. Yeah. Like, oh, there's probably more food there. That's a belief. You don't actually know it's true. Yeah. Yeah. It was exactly. You're going into something you don't know. And that is you. It's not about expecting something. It's you believe there's a better, there's more, uh, what's better that outcome? phrase? There's like greener grass oh, the grass always greener grass is always greener something like that yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is what they were thinking which is belief which is yeah. belief because they don't really know they don't have any facts of that which, which is so trippy because if you look at animals they don't house that belief system like athena's just living mm-hmm. you know and but that's like the buddhist state that's what if you actually look into yoga the whole purpose or like buddhism meditation it's all about killing that that storytelling mind and then that's why when you see an animal and they say it has Buddha nature, because it's not thinking, it's just doing, mm-hmm. it's just living its life. Mm-hmm. And that's what we try and go back to, you know, because we, we've, we've been plagued by a disease called the mind. That's what, that's not my words. That's literally what the Buddhists believe. <laughs> right. Right. And that's why we have like ailments, you know, sure. You can go through like sicknesses mm-hmm. because you're not, your mind isn't healthy. Mm-hmm. Right. And like, and it, it really makes you think, is the the greatest human virus the mind? Well, it's it can go either way, right? Sure. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. True. Okay. Yeah, because it could be used for good. Yeah. But then, when you take a step back, I think we talked about this before. Mm-hmm. It's like if you believe in the Stone Dave theory, where they ate mushrooms mm-hmm. and then that expanded their creativity or their consciousness, and then that made them go towards different things. It's sure. like are we just is is like are the plants directing our lives maybe yeah they were here first right right and they're stimulating our imagination Mm -hmm. which makes us do things that we never initially thought was possible yeah it's a symbiosis of the two yeah dude and, and then it is a symbiosis because then the more that the those plants ate it like mushrooms ate us sure then the more you'll want to plant it sure 
so it's propagating itself through that mind. It's um, uh, it is that mushroom fungus from The Last of Us. Mm-hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if, if you don't know what we're talking about, The Last of Us video game was based off of zombies, and they took the idea of the zombie from something that actually happens in nature, which is like a mushroom spore that gets into an ant and then it forces it like psychologically makes the ant climb as high as it yeah. can. Yeah. And then something grows out of the ant's head, yeah. which is the spores and yeah. it explodes. And then the spores from the mushroom, like can spread out further Yeah, to grow more. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know what that's called. Like Google, like, spore yeah, I forgot what something. it was called. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that's, that literally could be what's happening with us. If you look at yeah, the Stone yeah, yeah, Theory. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, why do we want to go to Mars? We're going to populate Mars. Like, it's, yeah. the, it's the, the plant that wants to... Uh, it's, it's pushing our ideas forward. Mm-hmm. Because what, what are these, like... I'm not talking about sedatives. I'm reading a book right now about um, altered states. Uh, like, it's called uh, This Is Your Mind on Plants. Okay. And basically, it goes through... I thought it was going to go through all uh, forms of you know, plant medicine, quote unquote, but it takes three, which are depressants, stimulants, and um, hallucinogens, Mm -hmm. right? So those are the three forms that plants can take within us. They either like, okay, they sedate us, which is um, opium. That's what he's going to talk about because we use that as sedative for Mm -hmm. like pain. Yeah. yeah. And then caffeine is the next one he talks about because that's what stimulates us. Mm -hmm. And then I think, oh, the last one's mescaline. So it's found in cactuses. Or cacti, yeah. and um, what that does is it stimulates your creativity, mm-hmm. right? W- which is like psychedelic, right? Right. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And and if all these plants really do is like stimulate our creativity, it's like chicken and the egg. <laughs> Who's driving the boat? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. 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 Yeah. 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 That's pretty trivial when you think about it. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, 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 um, again, it, it, it's a symbiosis, meaning it's for us to figure out a better way of life, but at the same time, it's spreading that thing, that thing, the, or like, like um, marijuana is legal now. Right. Right. So like, if we were like, no, abolish this, we would destroy all the plants, mm-hmm. the cannabis plants. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But instead we're like, Hey, we can turn this into a profit. Mm-hmm. So now they've planted as many cannabis plants as they can so the, <laughs> the cannabis plant is aiding and we're aiding it's yeah like a very symbiotic right relationship yeah, yeah like yeah. you're saying yeah it's yeah i mean that makes sense uh, it, but it's so trippy when you think where you're like whoa yeah. that is a mind blow well I was, what i mean by that makes sense is also that we're part of this planet, right? Like we're not something separate from this planet. That's that's actually a very um, important point that I feel that only one theoretical, like the yogis knew it, but I'm really into like theoretical physicists. Dude, I found out that yogis and theoretical physicists, like Einstein was a theoretical physicist. And mm-hmm. remember you were, you were showing me the, the show genius yep. with uh einstein and i was like oh that's a yogic principle mm-hmm. what he was like suggesting mm-hmm. so like they're both doing the same thing yeah. which is like how does our world work but one doesn't have the scientific tools as it, like the ancient yogis didn't have scientific tools or they also didn't have the scientific method where it's like test retest hypothesis you know blah blah well i mean there was a lot of science uh... the science of their time yeah, they did have a lot of science in their time. But, but too, I mean, like, right? they don't have a hydron, hydron collider. No, no, no. You know they, like, they, no, no, that, even they didn't have, they have that now, right? Well, the equations, they don't have No, but have these, things are, these things are now, but, like, no, no, right, yeah, what whatever mean. they were trying to solve of the universe, understanding of the universe, yeah. a lot of the science stuff for the time, Yeah, they did do that stuff. It's not, like, all from Europe, right? Yeah, exactly. It's, totally, That's exactly. what I was trying to say. Yeah, 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 yeah totally, totally. And... Yeah, exactly. When we think of science now, we think about European science. But like yeah, like or Pythagoras or this. But there was like, yeah, I heard that it was already there way before Pythagoras. Yeah, totally, totally. Was figure he figured it before he figured it. It was already figured out before. So it was like things like that. Exactly, exactly. And when you read into ancient yogic stuff and scientific theoretical physics, they're talking about they're literally talking about the same thing. See, I, th- I think the thing with the the ancient yogic thing, it depends 
where you're reading that too. It's like, which ones are oh, they I'm pushing? Only, I'm only reading like the, um, you mean the translations? I'm, I'm reading uh, not the, okay, so not like, I am reading the newer ones mm-hmm. as well, but those people were influenced, I'm believing, is Carl Jung. Because like consciousness, super consciousness, yeah, these yeah. are English terms, right? Yeah, yeah, and Carl yeah. Jung came up with those first. Right. Like, I think we did a podcast about this before, but when the when the yogis came to the West for the first time, they didn't know English. Yeah, yeah so they yeah. needed words. So they're like, "Oh, Carl Jung talking about consciousness. This is similar to what we talked yeah, about." Yeah, they're they're trying to connect it in a way what we can already understand. Right. So it, it, totally. So it's it's Jungian philosophy, like this whole New Age mm-hmm, thing. Mm-hmm. If you actually look into it, like mark my words, if you actually look into it, it's actually Carl Jung's philosophy okay. through a through a yogic lens. They're right. just using his terms. But they're calling it yoga, but it's like, no, it's Carl Jung. He mm-hmm. came up with it. Just read into his theories. Mm-hmm. What I'm talking about is the ancient yogic texts which, which were just translated. They okay. weren't they weren't like put through a filter. Yeah. So I, I like the um Upanishads. Sure. And right, right, right. the Bhagavad Gita. Mm-hmm. Like that kind of stuff I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you read those and then you read uh like theoretical physicists, you're like, oh, you guys are talking the same thing. So Michio Kaku's book, um, is about the God equation. So what he believes is string theory. Okay. So that's what the God equation is. He believes that um, they haven't figured it out, but they're like very close to it. So he believes that our world is based off of strings. Mm-hmm. So what I mean by that is like waves that manifest in, like if you can zoom all the way in, it's just like waves. Yeah. Right. And like, it, the best example is water, right? So it goes through like waves of, uh, if it's moving really quick, it's hot, right? If it's moving really slow, it's ice, mm-hmm. right? On the surface, we're seeing like ice, steam, water, mm-hmm. right? But if you look into the, the physics behind it, the mathematics, the strings, it's just equations of like movement. Right. Right. That makes sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Water is my best example because he brought it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the ancient yogis talk about vibrations as well. They didn't mm-hmm. call it string theory. They're just like the world is made up of vibrations. That's mm-hmm. what the ohm is. The ohm is the sacred sound of yeah, yeah. universal vibration. Right, right. So they knew that there was something with vibrations there. Mm-hmm. They just didn't have like the math or the science to the contemporary math or science. Yeah, to, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see what I'm saying? Like the right. parallels there, but nobody put that together. Yeah, people take it very esoteric versus... uh, Just don't look at it esoterically. Like, you said vibration. I'm like, I've always heard that, you know? Mm. There's, like, vibrate... Like, the whole world is made up of vibration. But then when I read this thing about string theory, I'm like, this is vibrations. You're literally talking about the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. But you're not... Like... it's, It's like you... Like, uh, not lost in translation, but it's like they kind of, the string theorist picked up where you left off. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It, it's, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, see. They're like, they're not the exact, because some of you be like, oh, well, no, vibration is not string theory. It's like, no, but they're picking up where you left off. Mm-hmm, it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, they had a hunch about something. And it's like, that turned out to be true. They're right, these are like, hypotheses yeah, at and, the time. And now but they're the, able to, um, actually or or for example another example in uh ancient yogic text is nothing is still Mm -hmm. right even stillness isn't still okay it's a very common principle even if you look at me and i'm sitting there you're like oh he's not moving but my atoms are moving Mm -hmm. so it's like that's a theoretical physicist thing they knew that atoms are still moving at a molecular level Mm -hmm. But the ancient yogis didn't know how to describe it. So they're just like, everything that's that seems still is not actually still. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I feel like somebody will be like, if they hear this, they're going to think, oh, you're drawing these wide conclusions. But it's like, no, they're they're very close together. You know, right. Like, no, I get I that. I understand. Like, am I reaching? I don't know. Um, well, we as humans try to always connect things that we connect things right find parallels but i feel like if you brought an ancient yogi from that time and you're like oh yeah we proved that through mathematics they'd be like Mm -hmm. oh this is wicked all right what else can you prove they're not going to be like no it's i meant something else you know what i mean it's like i understand that 
But again, that's us making parallels to. Well, it, we're trying to be abstract to understanding of these things, right? So they may have meant those things, or may have been exactly those sort of things. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's. Look, I understand why we do that. We always try to find. Oh, or here, here, here's, here's my question. Here's my question: Was gravity around before Isaac Newton called it gravity? Well, yeah, it, it was. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. And everyone noticed. Hey, if you drop something, it's going to be attracted to the earth. It's going to like fall to the earth, uh-huh. right? It wasn't until Newton said, "There's a thing called gravity." Mm-hmm. So that's that's that's. I, 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 easier, I, I, that's my analogy. I it's guess like, you. Yeah, 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 we're talking about vibrations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. you're just putting a name. You're just quantifying it. Right. 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 We all yeah. saw gravity in action. We just didn't know what it. What we didn't quantify gravity because mm-hmm. nobody thought to. Mm-hmm. So, like, is that reaching? If, if people noticed the properties of gravity before, but nobody actually put a name to gravity until Newton did. Mm-hmm. So it's like, but we're talking about the same thing. No, no, I get that. Right? So it's like, like <laughs> that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm noticing. That, like, I understand that. I understand that. Before, we just didn't know what it was. Right. No, no, I, I understand that. Yeah. It's like, did they have formulas back in those days? Or trying yeah. to get formulas, or, or did they notice? Because the it's sun... the thing is, is math language is universal, right? Like it's yeah, true, yeah, yeah. You, you're going to see the same equations. Yeah, yeah, because well, they say math is the language of God, but in less esoteric terms, it's like <laughs> one plus one equals two is going to be the exact same. Yeah, all around the world, exactly. Even in space, like yeah. you're yeah, yeah, yeah. If aliens came, one plus one will always equal two. Mm-hmm. If, or to put it more obvious, because they're like, oh, but that's an equation, blah, 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 equations can change. What I mean is, if you take two objects, if you yeah, take yeah. One, two one individual of objects yeah, and yeah, you yeah. put them together, that'll be two objects. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what, that's what oh, yeah, yeah, I you're get describing that. the world yeah. through a mathematical equation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. One ball plus one ball yeah. combined together is two mm-hmm, balls. Mm-hmm. One plus one equals two. You can you can represent one in whatever script you want, mm-hmm. but the philosophy of math is universal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Just want to clarify that. No, no, I get that. Yeah. It's like, well, aliens don't have the same equations as us, but it's like, yeah, but the principle is the same. It's yeah, like, the principle is the same. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Trippy, man. Um, okay. Went down a dope rabbit hole there. <laughs> um, let's talk about the Super Bowl. Let's, let's, let's make it. Oh yeah, that happened. Like, I, know, I didn't right? know what we were going like, to talk about today. Actually, <laughs> you never do. I just like, had the notes. I never and, like, do. Jogs your memory. Uh, Super Bowl '90s kids. Uh, we were. Everyone's like saying it's like the best one of all time. Do you see that? I, I think it's just because it's it's our generation now. I, I feel like it's. A re- <laughs> I think they're just saying that because it's nostalgia. Yeah, totally. Yeah, for sure. And I'm sure that the, our parents who saw like Rolling Stones perform. They thought that that was the best Super Bowl of all sure, time. Sure, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. I mean, that's if they grew up with that kind of music. Yeah. Right, yeah, 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 totally. Yeah. Yeah. I, I just wanted to point out that Kendrick Lamar is probably one of the greatest artists alive. <laughs> he looks so weird in that, right, with his, like, suit. But then I was watching all these old interviews of him, um, old interviews of him talking about how he loves Prince. Sorry, I just had a memory of, I just had, like, a, something jump into my mind about the Yeezus thing. You know how he says, you know how he's got like bipolar? He's like mm-hmm. um, clinically bipolar. Sure, yeah. So when he was younger, he was, and then everyone always references this. I didn't know where it came from, but he's like, I'm a Gemini with two sides. He's always saying that. <laughs> from the, And I, he's like, um. my, always, bro. He's like, I'm a Gemini. In the beginning, um, I'll go to, jacob's jeweler and want to buy a chain but then i'll go to church on sundays with my mom and he's like how do i rectify these two sides of me and i'm like oh you're talking about your your yeah, yeah, yeah. bipolar yeah, nature. Yeah, yeah. you just didn't Without, have a name for bipolar right, yet right right and if you look at the nature of bipolar it's like they get super manic or super depressive mm-hmm. and you can see that kanye west does get super depressive and super manic mm-hmm. so it makes sense and he's yeah. like i'm a gemini i got two sides and it's like you knew we just ignored it yeah, I, uh, yeah. Uh, sometimes you don't you don't know that it's a it's a clinical thing. 
right? It's just yeah. He's just like, oh, this is who I am. This is who I am. Yeah. yeah. I, I urge people to watch that doc. It's crazy. But anyways, so back to the Kendrick Lamar thing. Um, he he's like really into Prince. So it's interesting now that mm. you think of him as like a rapper. But if you go back and listen to all the stuff, like he's using different vocal tones. Um, his like outfit at the Super Bowl is like very weird. It wasn't like hip hop y. Yeah. You know, I, I see him more as like an actual artist now than a, than like a rapper. Mm-hmm. He's also doing that movie with the uh, South Park guys. Oh. He's, bridg- he's bridging into like movies now, mm-hmm. comedy. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so you loved uh, Super Bowl too? Eminem was there. Yeah, I, I don't know if I read that correctly, if it was the highest halftime viewing or not, but maybe it was. Oh, really? Oh, so it really was the best Super Bowl of all time? I mean, viewing doesn't necessarily mean... Is that considered best, I, I guess? Yeah. Well, I guess under those metrics, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I like how they ended with Eminem. Yeah, I thought it was going to end with Kendrick. Well, actually, technically, the, I, thought know, it was gonna be, I thought it was going to end with Kendrick, too. Um, but it didn't actually end with Eminem. If you think about it, it ended with Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Yeah, yeah it, like it, they, they it circled back to them, yes. Because it was, it was a Dre day. Right, right, right. They kept saying Dre day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... It, it's it's cool too when you see all the artists that were there like these are the people that were really connected to Dre you know he found Eminem mm-hmm. and then Eminem found 50 yeah, yeah I think that was a surprise guest or oh, yeah nobody 50 cent nobody was ex- not, nobody, not, not that nobody was expecting just that was not announced right yeah yeah but it's interesting because he was posting a lot about it like yeah but he was stuff. saying that he's not going he's like I think that's surprise <laughs> yeah yeah, but they're all like make it, fun of him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But he was he was taken I think he knows that he was putting the jokes up on his own channel too, right? So. Yeah, he's like a comedian himself. He's a com- yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, do you see um he posted this other thing. He's like, I had all I had everyone in one of my movies. Mm-hmm. And, oh and yeah, he's yeah. like, I put a show, a show. I put the stars on stars or something. <laughs> I was like, Oh, that's cool. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, he had like Eminem there. Kendrick was in his other shows. Mary J. Blige. Was it Mary J. Blige? Was she on the show? No, no, no. I'm saying. Oh, the other the the singer. singer? Yeah, 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 yeah. She was, yeah. Yeah, she, he posted a picture of her as well. Uh-huh. Like, like scenes from the. Like, okay, right. Yeah. So that made sense why he was going. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And 50 Cent's the glue, bro. He puts, puts everyone on. Yeah. It was good. It was interesting. You know, see, I I don't know if they had rap on actually NFL. Okay, okay, so I heard that too. So everyone's like, "Oh, this is the first time rap and hip hop made it on mm-hmm. to the NFL." But mm-hmm. so, what is the weekend then? Is it pop, R and B? Yeah, or he's. I think it's more like R and B. It's 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 not like rap. Okay, he's he's a different. But he has like like rap undertones. Yeah, but he's very. He's it's a different thing. He, I feel like. He's not really. It's not really rap, at least. Right, right, yeah, yeah. At least the new versions of him. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. I know yeah, what you mean. it's 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 not really a, or hip hop. I don't know whatever they're calling it now. So, um, I think it was like I don't know if it was the worst first time, but I guess it was, yeah, the first time having all like especially this kind of group. Yeah, group yeah. of people. You, you know what's trippy too? If you watch Straight Outta Compton, uh huh, you realize that Dre came from that, and now he's. <laughs> at the super bowl <laughs> yeah. like that's another one where you're like wow you manifest your life yeah yeah, yeah. you know but we, we know him as like dr dre and you're like oh you just somehow got on the tv and i don't know how you got here but there's always mm-hmm. that that like iceberg story like the well stuff yeah we don't see. Uh, yeah yeah i mean one of the biggest thing was the the beats thing and then that being sold to apple like yeah, yeah, yeah. she became then, the first billionaire yeah. the first uh, rap billionaire yeah, things you don't see, but and then when you do these NFL things, then again, as it your music goes up again in the in the yeah, that's true, that's true. I think the, your brother the, said they didn't get paid for these performances, like Mary J. Blige was talking oh, I, about. I that. think there would have been like a base rate or something. Oh, if you think not, they did get paid. Not like um, I don't know what the exact contract is, but that's that was like what was the 
the headline was kind of saying but i, I have to like that's like i think everybody gets like a hyperbole? base thing but there's no yeah, like yeah, yeah. there's no um, extras yeah. and that will come probably from the music that people listen to after oh, okay yeah when you're when you're really said they didn't get paid i was like that that would make sense because it's a publicity thing. Mm-hmm. Like you're yeah. getting so much promotion for yeah. it. But what you said makes sense too. It's like, you probably have to pay some sort of retainer still. Like, mm-hmm. cause you know, like you're drawing an audience for them. So th- it must be in your contract that you have some sort of, yeah, there might be something. Yeah. But who knows? We're not in that world though. So. Well, I didn't read like the information's there. You just got to read. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like true. These okay, are headlines true. that say <laughs> Actually, speaking of free stuff, Kanye West had the best line in it. So when he was like coming up as a producer, people were like, Kanye, let me come over and like, let me listen to you rap on my beat, you know? Mm-hmm. And then they just wanted the beats for free. He's like, you're going to hear it. And you'd be like, oh, this is so good that I'm going to give you this beat, you know? And he's like, he's like, that's like, be- like, you don't go to a TV sales shop and you're like, Hey, I want to buy one of your TVs because I'm the best TV watcher in the world. <laughs> he, right? I was like, that's a great analogy. Mm-hmm. You know, he's like, this is how he makes a living. So, right, you know, right. You right. need to compensate him too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I never thought about thought about it like that. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Yeah, the TV mm-hmm, stores. Mm-hmm. It's a genius, man. <laughs> genius. Um, yeah, anything else about the Super Bowl? Um. Yeah, I mean, the main thing is everybody only watches at halftime. Yeah, no, that's the only, that's the only main more. reason. Like, I watch the game, but I'm not really a follower of NFL. I just... Yeah, yeah, yeah totally, yeah, yeah. It's just... And I, I mean, I do cheer and stuff here and there, but, like, if you pick a side and then you just... It's just like a... Um, it, it's like a one, one moment... It, yeah i know what you mean like you just like pick a side for that day you're not actually a fan of <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah yeah. i'm not like an la yeah, yeah. fan or a cincinnati fan i'm just um I'll, I'll pick who i feel like is the underdog and then i'll and you'll just root for him to be yeah, a part yeah, of yeah, it yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah i just literally tuned in for the halftime because it doesn't really matter who wins or loses it's for me it's it's just, exactly yeah, yeah i'll just enjoy the moments of the match but i found that i find that like football personally is kind of boring to watch so i just like mm-hmm. couldn't can do it the only one that i actually like is soccer even basketball is boring for me because it's like there's so many scores you know back and forth back and forth except for the raptors one because that was like very when they won yeah, yeah, yeah i yeah, was yeah, like yeah. okay well, let's see if they actually make well it. that's so why like the last it's always the it's, it's always the last two minutes right right that's yeah, yeah, that's yeah. where they pull out everything that they can <laughs> yeah, yeah totally totally but i feel like with soccer because the scoring is so loud or hockey too because you rarely get a score that it's like the whole game is on edge Mm -hmm. yeah anyways um yeah i mean the points in nfl is always it's always weird yeah right like why'd you get seven what's two what yeah it's six points and then if you get the field kick that's an extra one uh yeah you gotta run some but then if you're not doing a this is like after a touchdown, if you do a field kick, that's an extra one point. But if you don't do a touchdown and you do a field kick, that's three points. <laughs> like, what are you saying? Right? You're like so many. So it's many very rules, interestingly bro. sort of like baseball designed. Too. Like we get baseball with the home runs and stuff, but like, like I'm like, why are you, why are you switching at this point? Or the innings? Yeah, I was like. Like how come one inning can be so long and then one can be so? Because they haven't got it's the every, but that's the same though. Like you have to get three outs. All right. Yes. I don't know. So if you don't get three outs, this is going to keep going right? forever and ever until I think your batters run out. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, until your batters run out? I think so. Oh, they can't recycle. Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah, uh, actually, I don't know the exact or rule. Tennis too is also crazy. Like, why are those like four hour matches? Like, what are we doing? But tennis is fun. I don't, I don't like it. I guess because you can go back and forth, so that's why they hit like four hours. Yeah. Um, no, it depends on how many matches you have to win, right? If it's oh, three okay. out of five kind of thing. Oh, okay, okay. So if you don't win, if you win all three at once, then it's done. Okay. Yeah, too much. Right? Too, too, <laughs> too many games to... When people are like sports fans... It's like you are paying attention to a lot of different. I mean, I, I learned sets. I learned how to play football 
by watching the NFL. So mm, yeah, well, I guess technically, if you think about it, it's sort of like video games too, right? Like Call mm-hmm. of Duty, Halo. Mm-hmm. From an outsider looking in, you're like, wait, how do you remember this rule set? Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah, it's just yeah. it's their version of Call of Duty and Halo, right? Yeah, trippy. I mean, I think the only one sport that's really boring is golf. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, that is boring. I was gonna say bowling is also boring. Like, uh, 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 yeah, I, I curling. guess, but that that's there's a bit more action in bowling just because you're trying to get a strike or something. But it is long. Yeah. But golf is like I don't yeah, see where the ball doing. is at. Yeah, yeah where did yeah, it choo, go? Choo, choo, choo. <laughs> you just see them like fist pump. Like yes. Like, yeah. What, what happened? happened? Yeah. Were you on the green? <laughs> But I hear it's like addicting. I don't know. I think playing it maybe. I just I can't watch it. Yeah, true. I tried playing golf um, before, and I was just like, "This is also really boring." Like, there's also doing, like bro? very um, like certain stances. Certain. Oh yeah, you have to have the right uh, the golf stick, whatever. To yeah, yeah, yeah for the the and the yeah, or the putter if you're close or something like that. It's like all these things we probably sound so like sport ignorant right now (laughs) somebody's listening to this they're like bro you just don't get it like okay fair point yeah that's fine because like why somebody on the opposite end be like why do you play those video games and like okay yeah fair point yeah of course you just don't get it yeah yeah yeah. but there's just but again like sports is a very big thing to in general society yeah yeah as a as a good as a good money maker (laughs) Yeah, for sure, for sure. I wonder, like, going forward, how that's going to evolve. You know, we talk about esports, you know? Because mm-hmm. I feel like these, the sports that we watch are so archaic now. We may think that, but I think there's a lot more people that there's enjoy like it. An industry right? behind there's it. A, there's it's a huge, a yeah, it's a huge people. industry. I, I feel like esports is still a slow. No, no but, I, but I wonder, like, what are sports going to look like in the future? Because they just seem so archaic now. It's like, okay, you're putting a ball through who? You're kicking a ball through a net? Uh, like, what sounds cooler? You you kicked a ball through a net, or you wiped out an entire team <laughs> with headshots? Like, oh, that sounds cooler, bro. It, yes. But... If it's moving too fast, I feel like people can't really pay attention to what's going on. Tell that to the South Koreans. Yeah. I mean, stadiums. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. We'll we'll see. (laughs) It's like, we don't understand fucking League of Legends. Yeah, that's true. But the whole stadium's like filled with people who love it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I I just, I tried to watch that League of Legends doc. I mean, I I finished it. It was good. I understood a little bit of the game. Which League of Legends doc? It was, it was a while ago, like when League of Legends released the do- uh, documentary about... Oh, okay. Um, like how League of Legends became such a big esports thing. Okay, yeah. And like from there, I learned, understand the game a little bit of what... Oh, what, what they're doing. Like how to, yeah, how to play it. Yeah. But it's... I understand why it's big, but it's very, it's still a younger generation that are involved in that kind of thing. Yeah, I can't, I can't really be into... Wa- you know what? Maybe it's just all about interest. Because I was like... It's also arcade to watch people fight, and I'm like, I'm really into that. Yeah, it's true. Right? So it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like, I don't that really. Seems like it would be. I mean, in general, like, it's cool to see. Like, I don't mind cool. watching yeah, it, yeah, but yeah. I'm not, like, necessarily looking out to it, wanting to watch it. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, if it's on, it's on. Yeah. Yeah, true. It's the same way with all, all. I think I would say all sports. Like, I'll watch a little bit of. If it was on, the, a little bit of the golf. Maybe it was, like, for the. Um, what do you call uh, Olympics or something like Olympics? Right. I like that just because you're having it. You're seeing the, all the all the different weird sports all right, at once. Right, right, true, true, true. Yeah, so it, it, it do really entertaining. Get. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's weird that we haven't talked about the Olympics at all of this podcast. I feel like <laughs> nobody's paying attention to it. Um, yeah, I don't think a lot of people are uh, paying attention to the Olympics. Yeah, and, well, <laughs> I hear it on the radio, saying, like just like oh. They won gold or this. Okay, that's fine. Like, but not really. There's a lot more stuff going on. I think locally, yeah, yeah, as yeah. of news wise, that paying attention to the Olympics is not really happening. Yeah, totally. I, I wonder too if it's because of you know what what's going on with the uh, China Russia. 
that too there's a lot of that going like, on especially with what biden said yesterday it's uh, what did he say about that like uh, I watched it. It was a press conference, very short amount of time. But he said, I think the, the reporter asked him, do you, uh, like, do you know he's, is he prepared to go into Ukraine? Something like that. Not him, sorry, uh, is Putin. Uh-huh. And, and, or do you believe he's prepared to go? And he, and he says that, yeah, it's, it seems imminent. Like we oh, believe no way. Uh, wow. that, that he's already, dis- or that he has, has Putin already decided he's going to go in? And he's like, like they yeah, believe I... that yes. And wow. then they asked him, how do you know? It's like our intelligence. Oh, dude, that's crazy. So it's like, that. that's that's very strong words saying that, saying that already that you believe. But they're still open to yeah. diplomacy if they come to diplomacy. It's, it's that Munich movie, man. Uh, it's the what? The Netflix Munich. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's what's going on right now. Mm-hmm. They're trying diplomacy, but, you know. There was some, I think, a false flag attack that happened. Um, so there's a, it's very interesting with what's going on with the, in, in, in the whole the Ukraine-Russia thing. Okay. It's not part of the topics, probably. But no, 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 it's not. Because we didn't talk about it at Yeah, all. I know, I know. The, but, like, film, yeah. I heard that there was internally in Russia the, their own Congress or their own parliament Telling Putin to let Ukraine be like its own sovereign nation. Okay. But it's a it's a dictatorship, so he doesn't have to listen to them. Okay. Right. So the um, and then there was a an attack or some sort of explosion that happened as a false flag thing. But I don't know too much about it. But it was is it it's kind of like Russia using that as a false flag to come in or oh uh, it's sort of like um, or to tell the story inside of russia why they should go into yeah, yeah, yeah. ukraine um you talked about this before there's there's like operations where they blew up a plane uh and they blamed on the cubans that they while well, they were planning to do that mm-hmm, mm-hmm, blow mm-hmm. up a, a plane filled with no one and then right. use that as, as their excuse to go into war. yeah 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 so you're saying that that's what happened yeah 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 oh wow yeah and because it, it, the false flag thing, and they, they talk about it on the radio, I was like, I didn't know about this, but it's what it started like with, with Germany or Nazi Germany did, where they it was Nazi Germany wearing Poland uniform, attacking Whoa. Germans to tell the Germans that the Polish is attacking us. Dude, w- we do that. But like, that's where it, it started. It was, this is how <laughs> agent provocateurs that they talk <laughs> about, you know, like uh, for the 2008 crisis. Mm-hmm. In Occupy Wall Street, mm-hmm. they would have like police officers dressed in civilian clothes inciting riots so that the police can come in mm-hmm. and be like, oh, look, you're getting out of hand. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing with, the, with the Putin and Russia, too, it's like, because he was there, I, he's, I think he believes that like the worst time was when the Soviet Union was yeah. like destroyed in a sense. He was there, right? Like when that. Like with the Afghanistan stuff, he was a KGB agent, right? Putin. Yeah, Putin. Yeah. So he wants to bring it back to the wow. Soviet era. Wow. Okay. Do Do you think? Or like that kind of power, right? Do you think there's any potential of World War Three? I mean, this is this is the thing. That's why I said what Biden said yesterday. He thinks it's imminently. I know that's kind of crazy. less than a week or within days. Within so it's like I don't I don't. Dude. Know. It's like what's going. on? I actually saw this uh, lead <laughs> singer of this band that I like. He wrote, let's never go to war again. I think because he's paying attention as well. And it's like, actually, my cousin, all, we were talking about this too. Uh, he lives in the Philippines, Jono. Mm-hmm. And he was saying, like, it seems like World War Three is about to happen. And I'm like, I, I, kept, I keep telling people, like, no, I don't think so because a hot war would kill a lot of people like it's not like we're it, in world war ii times bro it's not we're like, much we more drones. connected like like as a supply chains could be really cut off like yeah. i think it'd be an economic war that makes total sense to me battling for business but like mm-hmm. a hot war with bombs like no way yeah i just don't feel like that's gonna happen i feel like it's we're too much of a world economy that we can't like end up reaching that kind of point like it would make it, sense yeah. to do diplomacy and just like it's, it's different if you're going it's like afghanistan or something right they don't have the technological well there's no like yeah that's the thing it's 
uh, are there ways for retaliation no but it's also like are they what, like do we have trade deals with russia like we don't have as much of a trade deal with russia okay yeah. like do other nations have only germany does germany is very reliant on their oh, okay, uh, I didn't know that. their gas right yeah so that's why germany's not really involved right now even okay. though they're the biggest nation in europe right yeah yeah and that's why it's like maybe not it, i feel like it has to lead to diplomacy just cuz <laughs> like yeah it I, it's such a it would be too crazy i couldn't even imagine though all right this is also kind of weird but um when world war 2 happened and the atom bombs were being tested that's when they saw an extra increase in ufo's extraterrestrials mm -hmm. and it's kind of weird that we're hitting that point again and we're seeing a lot more ufo interventions so it makes you think like <laughs> are they all right this is conspiracy like this is yeah, yeah, yeah obviously out there but are the aliens trying to keep us from destroying ourselves mm -hmm. like are we signaling that this could be happening again like oh World and three is about right right and i just remember like i think you had some i think this this weekend or they're doing it recent soon where like, nuclear drills in russia Okay, so yeah, exactly. like, yeah, and then like are they and then i guess they were trying to ask biden are, is he is there nuclear bombs gonna be like what's going on here yeah, like yeah and he's like i don't think he's gonna do that okay so <laughs> so that's what i mean man it's like <laughs> there is no way if if we enter into world war three the world is done there's no way you're going to come out of this thing okay we yeah have, i just feel like it's not you can't have two our our bombs are crazy now not even our bombs just like drone strikes like that's mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that alone you don't even need to sacrifice like manpower you, we could shut off it'll be like a technological war we shut off their power grids using hackers yeah it's funny though it's like you even said like are there going to be nuclear bombs the it's, it's funny because it's like we're going to war and when you think war it's like no holds barred but it's like we still have rules <laughs> it's like <laughs> alright you're not going to use nukes we're not going to use nukes yeah bro. yeah yeah all I right, mean that's cool. the same thing like uh, even in Nazi time too it was like we're not going to use like the gas. some gas yeah, yeah, yeah. because that affected Hitler right, at right, the time right, right, from right. World War One. so it's like okay we're not using that gas <laughs> yeah it's, it, right it's like, <laughs> rules so, of engagement yeah 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 that's what that is <laughs> so that's why I feel like if you were to enter into a third one, it could be nuts. Yeah. They're saying they don't want a war. They'd rather do, do diplomacy, but under... It's like Russia doesn't want Ukraine to join NATO. But then U.S. is like, no, it's up to Russia. Right. You don't have any control over Ukraine. <laughs> but I, I wonder also the people... The people are probably not into war, so it's like no, no, no of course like, not. Because oh, yeah, go it's going to affect like, a lot nope. of people. Yeah, no, yeah. nobody wants, especially there. Yeah, it, it's not a good thing. Yeah, you see, like a lot of protests, a lot of riots happening too during the COVID stuff mm -hmm. over there. So it's like if they were like, yeah, World War Three, they're like, no, nope, we're going to protest. Like I could see people not complying. Yeah, and it's like what it's interesting to see what the message he's trying to send or Putin is trying to send in within Russia, oh. or how to convince them if they. Or to go to war, right? Like he's—it's oh, really? the, the Soviet era. We we're gonna Wait, bring bring back our Putin? like, st yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's trying trying to bring that nationalism. Like because it's it's a because they control the state media, right? So it's like, right, what yeah, kind yeah. of media are they sending but to I mean, the people? Also VPNs, bro. Like people are looking outside of. Um, I don't think it's as media. big as you think. Like VPNs are there, but but I mean, like I think that the message will get around mm -hmm. to the people mm -hmm. like because you saw the protests there too like in russia when the guy got yeah yeah yeah. yeah that's um, why he's having he's having um issues like trying yeah, to yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah 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 exactly, yeah like approval exactly. rating kind of thing but also that's why like within their own parliament trying to tell him to let's just leave like leave ukraine alone like why are we oh his parliament saying yeah that's what i'm saying oh, it, within his okay. own thing he's trying to say that but it's up to him because he's, it's a dictatorship it's not like a it's not like a yeah but see like that's like obvious dissent there yeah like do we do we not watch any hitler movies about how the remember like that mm -hmm. valkyrie where they yep. conspired against him mm -hmm. yeah I, I i can see his people like i just really don't i really i just don't think I, yeah i don't see happen. i don't see a war i see 
reaching some sort of diplomacy. Yeah, some yeah sort for of, sure. Yeah. Economic war total. I can get behind that. Like, I could see that happening. Like, our prices will increase and then our economy will plummet. Like, that's the only way to do it, but, like, not a hot war. I could mm-hmm. not see that one. Yeah. Yeah, not with two big nations. Yeah, yeah, totally. Especially Russia and China. Like if, if and as, together, as them like, as being allies, yeah, and that will affect, but then it'll affect China too because it's like they make the goods for us to buy. Yeah, so they it's want like domino to, effect. Like, yeah, how are they going to make their money then? Exactly. They like it's a symbiotic relationship, like you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's that's definitely not. It's happen. just it feels like another, like a Cold War kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, totally. All right, I right can, now I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so speaking of protests, mm-hmm. one of the biggest things that's happening right now. Save or that had us. happened. Oh, it's over? Or they took them all out. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. We're talking about the Toronto, uh, yeah. the convoy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's only one thing that I really want. To, so they. So it's fully done now. Done in the sense like they got they, moved out. Yeah, they, they they I think they moved out all the trucks or like most of okay. things. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, the only thing that really freaked me out about the whole thing that I wanted to bring up is the freezing of bank accounts mm-hmm. and the removal of your insurance for your vehicle. Mm-hmm. Dude, that is like. Well, I think if one thing that this whole COVID situation taught us is that they can put anything in your body. If they want to, they mandate it. Mm-hmm. Vaccine passports. I mean, like, you're like, oh, yeah, I don't have to do it. But it's like you're kind of strong armed into doing mm-hmm. it, you know? And at the same time, they can do whatever they want with your finances if they wanted to. Mm-hmm. You're the, the one meme, like, you're one emergency act away from losing all of <laughs> your money. And I'm like, oh, that's true. Well, yeah, they were trying to, that was like the last minute thing, right? Because they were. But still trying to get rid of them, right? Because actually it affected it was affecting the businesses there. Like the for three weeks everything's been closed. Uh around uh Ottawa area. Yeah, yeah, I I can see that, but then it makes you think, what about democracy and your right to protest and all that stuff? No, you have the right to protest. But they were like to a point. You know what I mean? It's like you have right to protest to a point. Yeah, you're you're trying to get your we are word out we understand that this is an issue yeah right like there's um i don't but like you see what i mean like there's there's it's like it's like with covid oh i have the freedom to open up my own business lockdown boom oh crap uh i can choose to not get a vaccine oh mandated passports mm-hmm. oh crap mm-hmm. uh we're gonna protest yeah to a point freeze your bank account oh crap you know what i mean so yeah, there's yeah. always like we think we have powers, but we have no powers. And I think that's what this last two years has really shown me as well as another mind blow moment. Mm-hmm. Of like if you don't play by the rules, there are consequences. Yeah. Yeah. They were there for like three weeks. Right. <laughs> so it's like a lot of the Ottawa residents were. Okay, Cause they couldn't even like, they were pissed too. Right. Ottawa Cause residents. there was just like the, the, the truck horns were going off yeah, yeah, yeah. for like continuous. Yeah. And like, yeah, it was, but like when they were analogizing analogizing it to like terrorist stuff, I was like, "What are you talking about, bro?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's just a blanket statement. There. I, I think that's incorrect. Yeah. yeah. So, but they, but they used that rhetoric in order to push. But they didn't. Do, so that's, yeah, yeah. I think that as a federal thing, they didn't do anything until now, right? So the, the trippy part is it should have been the Ottawa police. Yeah, totally. Dealing totally. with it, but the, the, they didn't deal with it. Like they, like here, they did the truck convoy in Toronto too, right? Yeah, but it was like okay, whatever. But the the police knew how to handle it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was, it was, like, it was okay, done whatever. and controlled for that weekend. That was it. Yeah, it's, exactly. And yeah. Like, but but see what I mean? It's like you you pulled out this emer- you put out the rhetoric of it being a terrorist organization that wants to overthrow the government, which is actually half only of the government which I also find kind of weird. Hmm? Like the, do you see the Jagmeet saying in the Trudeau, like saying how they're like terrorists and then the opposite side, she was like, saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Like not that, yeah. you know? And then, which is <laughs> kind of funny how, not really funny, but it was like a, another blemish on Trudeau's historical perspective, like um, 
the way we're going to perceive them going forward is memories like oh they're like swast they're supporting swastika people and the girl's like i'm a jewish holocaust descendant like, mm-hmm. what are you talking about yeah, yeah, yeah you know so it's like his- I, I, I remember reading the, the headline for that but he didn't um because they were saying that uh like he said her being jewish how can you i thought that's what that's what the headline was like but he didn't directly say her as being jewish he's just saying conservatives yeah as a party but that that just shows you that joining sides with that, that just, I, I, I like when i saw that i was like okay I, interesting so, how the headline was versus what was actually said so so the thing that is interesting to think about is it wasn't even all of government that was like we need to enact this emergencies act mm-hmm like because some parts of government were for the convoy yeah, yeah, yeah so like so how can you take such an extreme measure in order to like freeze bank accounts stop insurance if not everyone agrees mm-hmm. what what this shows me is you use marketing you use this crazy rhetoric of them being terrorists in order to push out an emergencies act that half of the government thought was an overreach right so it's like what does that mean about everything it's like are we just ruled by marketing and belief systems again mm-hmm. it's like mm-hmm. that's how we are moving through the world it's like who's the the loudest person in the room yeah, yeah, yeah. with the most like ridiculous statement that we're going to believe you know what i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, i kind of lost respect for Trudeau after that one like when it's funny because if you started the, listening to this podcast when the COVID started, you know, I was so fortunate. I was like, yo, you guys, weed, you guys, the vaccines, <laughs> you guys, UBI. But then, like, watching how he's being more recently when the pressure is on, it's kind of like, oh, you're showing your true colors now. Right. You know what I mean? Like, when, when you're being hated on mm-hmm. and how you're reacting to that. Yeah. It's like, I don't really support that. Mm-hmm. You know, sure. Like, like calling the unvaccinated people like racist misogynists. And we, we talked about this, like that's a blanket statement. Not everyone's like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, like the truckers or their terrorists. Like what, what are they doing? Like mm-hmm. they didn't smash a bunch of, it wasn't like, um, not the January 6th thing. Yeah, exactly. But they were trying to make it sound like that. Yeah, they're like, yeah, oh, yeah, they're going to yeah, storm yeah. the thing. I'm like, what are you talking about, bro? Like nobody's doing that. Mm-hmm. But if you push that narrative and then like, regular people who don't question it like going back to that whole yeah, idea yeah. it's like they're like oh the convoy's evil yeah you know I, even in my own like personal life i hear that and i'm like and then i ask the question i'm like why you know what what makes them like i i said what if you were in their shoes you know and you lost all your money and you're just trying to protest and then the person who actually i don't want to say it was so like the person who i asked that i was like they kind of shut down and they're just like no they're just horrible evil people that blah blah, blah. and i'm like no they're no one's no, <laughs> like, evil you know <laughs> like they're they're fighting for their rights as well yeah. as i'm sure you would do yeah. if you were in that circumstance mm-hmm. you know yeah, yeah, yeah. like we're, we're we're lacking like perspective of other people's lives here we think we think too much in terms of what is the general narrative saying, but it's been proven time and time again that, you know, the general narrative is shaped by an agenda mm-hmm. and the general narrative is pushed out through the media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, why does everybody think this convoy is a terrorist organization, but half the government is saying it's not? Why did mm-hmm. Dairy Queen support it? You know, mm-hmm. why did David's tea guy support it? Why, why, why would these people support the convoy if they actually believed it was a terrorist terrorist organization, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, but that's because that's what they want to tell you, so that they can enact an emergencies act, mm-hmm. which is like such an overreach. You know? Yeah. 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 Just yeah. Tripping in. <laughs> I don't know. It's just. Yeah, it just makes you like think, like what is, what is our real power here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like it was the last resort because I don't think they with them with the the emergencies. Yeah, but what do you mean last resort? Because it's like half the government was like it for it. 
the conservatives. It's not fifty percent. No, it's not fifty, but like, I feel like in order to freeze a bank account, we all have to be in consensus here. Like you're going to somebody's personal. Yeah, yeah, that's why it was like a last resort thing, right? Yeah, they were trying to get them out prior to, right? All right, so you're in support of the thing, or no, no, no. I'm just saying, like, they were trying to get them out of the area because they were affecting businesses because okay. they weren't moving out. Yeah, but okay, but that's that's people's freedoms to do that thing. No, I guess in their consideration, it wasn't. It's illegal what they were doing. Under who? Under well, the law, I we, guess. No, but we have the freedom to protest. Yeah, but you can't impede other businesses, right? People do it all the time. When you protest things, yeah, yeah that's yeah. what a protest is. You yeah, stop but you're, somebody from... But you're st- what I'm saying is you're staying there for three weeks. So? So, so, it's affecting, time, so there's a time limit to protesting? Yeah, I think they do do that. Uh, yeah. That's so ridiculous. Like, well, all right. Hey, think about... Remember when they, the people... No, I'm not saying I'm for or against it. I don't know the exact rules of this. But under their thing, it was... Um, what is illegal, I guess. No, no, but, but that's what I mean. In certain like, things that they were doing. So yeah. you have a time limit to protesting. Mm-hmm. But, but people people block things all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you can't block forever, right? But then... You can't block for three weeks. So that... But... No, I think... Uh, I don't... I wouldn't... Like, to say that you can't block for three weeks, it's like, so then you really can't protest. You protest and then you go home. <laughs> That's generally what so it's is not done. Really, it's not, not really a protest. It's like yeah. that's like, that's like what I'm saying with what the, what happened in the Toronto. They did the protest through the weekend. Yeah, and they went home. Right, right. So, so it's like it's it's like you you can you have the freedom to protest within our rules. Yeah. So you know what I mean? It's yeah. like we are. We See, they couldn't do the everything. like, like, like blocking. They were doing the protests at the border, right? I, I don't know. I yeah, don't yeah, know. at the border, but they were blocking things that were essential. It's a, essential, like essential in the sense of affecting all businesses. Okay, because they couldn't bring in the goods, yeah, and yeah, America's yeah. like, yo, you got to deal with your stuff. Like, it's affecting both sides. Yeah, yeah, that's like a billions of dollars of stuff, right? Yeah, of uh, trade. So it's like, so they had to get them out. So that was done. Yeah. Um, by the Ontario Emergency Act thing that Doug Ford did. The freezing? Of the no, 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 it wasn't freezing. It was just using more enforcement and having more uh, tools or whatever, or what equipment. I don't, I don't know exactly. Like what would they equipment be? Like batons? No, like I think uh, like other trucks. I, don't, I have no so idea to get rid of them. To push the trucks. Out. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. it's like we 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 are advocates for democracy until we don't want the democracy. It's like the illusion of democracy. Yeah, oh yeah. I mean, the democracy just happened. Like, it's funny that they were protesting him or to get him out, but it's like he just got voted in. Who? Trudeau. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's just months ago. Yeah, yeah, to- exactly. It's yeah, I thought that was kind of ridiculous too. But, but imagine if he won a majority government. He could just do whatever he wanted at that point. It would be like kind of freaky like Mm -hmm. we're seeing now under stress how we would react so it's like what would you be like and if you had more power it's interesting yeah but that's why it's like ndp joined him too right they passed it with him i guess yeah but there's like some back-end deals there i i was i'm I lost respect for uh, Jay Meat too, because he, he was also doing the exact same thing. But it's like, bro, we talked about this year. They were both saying the same thing, right? His brother in law, right, donating. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. my brother in law did. His brother was like, I didn't actually know what I was donating to. It's like, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. We talked about this twelve thousand dollars, bro. Like, it's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. If you don't care, give me the twelve thousand yeah. dollars. If that's nothing to you. Yeah, and then do you see the thing where it's like anybody who donated is liable to? I don't know, some issue as well. Some, like, I don't know if freezing of their bank accounts as well, but, like, so, some sort of, like, issue. They're going to look into the people who donated as well. That's weird. Yeah. So it's, like... That doesn't make sense. I don't, well, think, I don't know if that's true, though. Yeah, I just I heard that as a part of the freezing of the bank accounts mm-hmm. as well. So it's, like, what are we doing, man? We We... We have an illusion of... How did that leak? Did the leak of all the names of who... Vo- Donated? Yeah. Oh, no, it's just public knowledge. Because when you do GoFundMe, it says your name. Oh, so it's not a leak. 
no no it's just on the website like oh, um, okay. like Tara's a GoFundMe right now and uh-huh. like um, when you donate it's like what's your name mm-hmm. you just put your name in and your email that's how you donate you need like a because in case they got to give you the money back you know they need to know who donated right 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 but yeah so and well it's the, all done now the David T person mm-hmm. the David's T his wife yeah, yeah. Here, and they're trying to cancel her it was like $200 she only gave and but like I didn't even hear about this on the news this just seems like it's an alternate you know, not alternate um, what do they call that alternate media whatever like oh they're talking about this yeah it's like it feels like I didn't even but hear about people this people are trying to cancel her not the yeah but I don't know how many people oh yeah okay I see what you're saying so it's just like two people is, like, is, oh, is it like it oh it's like because I didn't hear about this at all, other than through only that one thing. Yeah, but see, there, there you go again. It's like, it's so it's like, like it's not. Is it really even main news? No, no, right. Totally. So it says like, was it like five third. people? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So it's like, what message are we trying to send? Yeah. We just tailor everything accordingly. That's why you have to be like skept- healthy skepticism about yeah, yeah, everything yeah, yeah, you see. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, I'm just tripping over the fact that they have that power. Like, why yeah, yeah. can actually do that? Mm-hmm. It actually, it reminded me of, uh, well, I guess it's over now, but it reminded me of the French Revolution that you told me about before, mm-hmm. when the rich were, but that's really what's happening. It's like, there's such a huge divide between the rich and the poor. Like, the people in France at the time, they were so poor that they stormed the the houses of, uh, was it the president or prime minister? The leader of, okay. and they beheaded the whole family. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, the monarch of yeah, France. Monarchy, yeah, whatever. Yeah. 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 So, like, the that kind of seemed like it is now, you know? I, I don't think it's like it. that. No, no, obviously, right? nobody because got killed. It's, but the reason why it's not like that, it's like, majority of the people got vaccinated. No, no, no. I'm, I'm talking about, um, no, no, not about the vaccination. I'm saying, like, the divide between the rich and the poor. Okay. Like, animosity. Yeah, I know vaccinated people. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. what I mean. Like I, I know vaccinated people are supporting this thing. Yeah, yeah. Because it's like there is such a such a divide now. Mm-hmm. Like, I go back to that thing that I won't say who said it, but um, remember the snow day, and then I was like, there is no snow day if you're working remote. And then the person was like, I'm not, I'm not educated enough to oh, work yeah, a remote yeah. job, okay. right? And it's like, yeah, there's there's a divide, mm-hmm. and it's like covid is accentuating that divide Mm -hmm. and then with these actions of like the emergencies act it's like yeah the rich do the people in power really do control you more than you think sure okay yeah right which is a scary thought and i wonder how but that's why we can we choose who is in power who's not in power right as we vote when you can't vote maybe like, no, 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 yeah. No, 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 I know, but like, but maybe. Like, like, no, no, but like, in, uh, I'm just what I'm saying, this is what a democracy is, right? It's where you can, um, I don't know if Trudeau's, I don't think they want Trudeau running again. Oh, okay. Right? If this is creating a lot of problems, uh, I, as a liberal, as the party, I don't think they want him to run again. Yeah, it's, it's funny. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, no, it's totally, yeah. So it's like, like, this is probably more helpful for the conservatives right now. It, as I was actually talking right? to my brother about this, I was yeah. like, next time i vote i'm voting conservative and he's like don't do that but i was like i was like no but they're showing me through their actions yeah so there's like this is what i'm saying it's like this is how we have um how we can change government right where in other parts you can't yeah you true but fundamentally at its core i think we talked about this last week but if you utilize a popularity contest then you have these issues come into play if you put scientists and like real experts, yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree, I agree, job, I agree. Yeah, yeah, I agree. We wouldn't even have these issues. Sure, you know, we come to a better agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand right. that. Yeah, but so that's why I'm like, democracy is fundamentally flawed. Like, I think it was like two podcasts ago when we talked about economics, like how China they groom all their leaders, mm-hmm. right? Because that's a, um, it's a different style. It's a communist, right? So like the leaders got kind of like ushered in. Okay. So you're in that field, but then in democracy, like somebody from the ground can make their way to the top, but it's yeah, like yeah. you don't actually understand how the rules of engagement work, mm-hmm. you know? So you don't have the best person in that position. You just have the most popular person in that position. Okay. Like literally that's what democracy is. Democracy is just popularity contest. 
boiled down to its core, right? Yeah. We watch commercials. We think we understand the issues. We vote on the person we think is the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But do we even have the knowledge to vote? The understanding? Mm-hmm. You know, before there was a, there's a rule where you had to own a certain amount of land in order to vote. But that was that wasn't because of like that was because like you had to have been knowledgeable in order to own that land. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you you could think, mm-hmm. you know. Whereas now it's like we're just swayed by media narratives. Sure, yeah. Um, but it's again, it's the people choosing versus. Yeah, but like, but right. people are fundamentally flawed because nobody could possibly understand all the issues. No, no, no. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, so it's yeah like, of course. Yeah, we're voting. But we're voting in a system that's manicured for us. Yeah. Right? E- like, even the conservatives compared to the liberals, they still have to play within the rules of engagement. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, you, we, it's like the illusion of freedom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why it depends on how the parliament or the... Well, like, I, I know more, a bit more about the U.S. is how their Congress is more set up, right? So if, generally, if the country's divided on issues that's why it's going to take time to pass things or more compromise is done versus not which is what i thought would have happened instead of this emergencies act i was mm-hmm. like whoa even america didn't do that right right they, they didn't like we're going to face recognize everyone and we're going to freeze their bank accounts mm-hmm. that were you know in america had occupied wall street bro for ever that wasn't like that was like a two year thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they don't have a time limit, apparently. You know. Yeah, no, I think a lot of people were being arrested too, right? Like you couldn't like stay on the. <laughs> but, but they had the camps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they were. There was a lot of them being shifted in and out, kind of thing. Yeah, it's a sketchy world. <laughs> uh, on a more positive note, COVID's basically done now. Well, yeah, basically, no, yeah. Do, or chicken and the egg, do you think that the convoy helped in getting the vaccine passport revoked? I feel like it may have had an impact on maybe making it sooner. Yeah, I think so, Than too. necessarily later. Yeah, so it did its job. Yeah. So it was, it was successful. Yeah, so it worked. Yeah. Yeah, so March 1st, no more vaccine passport. So that's no more vaccine passports as in, as in it's not mandated by the gov- uh, government. But, but individual it's optional still, yeah, if yeah, the yeah. individual businesses want to do that. I found that weird too. Because it's like... No, I think it makes sense. I think it depends on how the, if the business feels more comfortable doing it or not. No, no, totally, totally. totally. But For, it's like, it's just funny because it's funny because it's like you, we're going to remove it. But if all businesses still treat, like if you're still a strong arm, like we don't know what the backroom deal is with the government. So like, let's say you get your funding, like a nonprofit gets its funding from the government. You don't think the government's going to be like, hey, make sure people are vaccinated. Yeah, there might be rules like that. That's what I mean. Yeah. Right? It's like, sure. we don't know. We don't know what, like, okay, so the vaccine passports are gone. But if the trucking company still like, yeah, you should still be vaccinated then yeah it depends on it's, it's you know what I mean? there's it's like, provincial and there's federal rules right but, but that's what I mean. it's like it's, it's it's the illusion again of getting what you want like do we really get what we wanted or yeah i think they just want to go back to normal <laughs> they don't want all this yeah, to deal true. with <laughs> but i saw the cases are are still quite high they're like 2000 something what? I heard that it's going down. I, I, got, I heard it yesterday. They like announced like 53 deaths um, from the past month. and Yeah, but the, they're saying hospitalizations and ICUs are going down. Oh, they didn't. I didn't hear that part. They, they were just saying like um, from the CP24 thing I heard. It was like 53 deaths from COVID this past, past month. And today we... Past came, month or past... Past month. Week or... That, nine, seems, that seems very little. Yeah, no. That's why I was like, okay, well, it's not that bad. I don't think it was past month though i think he said month i don't think that's right he said like bring the total to 53 or whatever who cares but then, <laughs> then he said like uh he like kind of brushed it off but he's like with a total count of 2000 something cases today and i was like oh before that would have been like 
Oh my god. No, it is less. Yeah, two thousand is less. No, right, but if but remember when it was two thousand, it was like people were freaking out. We were in like the seven hundred, we're like, Okay, cool, cool. It's it's not that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we went to a thousand. Like you're saying it's less relative to the high number. Yeah, right. So it's right. like but if you remember in the beginning, we were freaking out about 2000. Like in the beginning and what beginning you're talking about? Like when, when we were putting lockdowns and stuff, we were freaking out about 2000. Like in the, like in the first? No, no, no. Like even recently, this recent Are you talking about the recent lockdown? Yeah. Oh, okay. They, they, we were like, oh, we're in 2000, so we were mm-hmm. locked down. Mm-hmm. So it's like, yeah, it is lessening, but we're still in the number where we were freaking yeah, out. Yeah, because that, I think that, at that time it was doubling or whatever it was. Right, no, no, I'm just Quickly saying Quickly going like, up. The now it's just still... Now it's going down. It's not going up, right? But it's still at the same... It Like, it's depending on half full or half empty. So you're... How no, it, it was... It was uh, I understand that. But you're acting based on how much... How fast is going up, right? Right now it's going down. So that means totally, it's... Totally, totally, totally. But right, no, I, I agree with you. I, I understand what you're saying. You're looking at it from that perspective. Yeah. But I'm saying if you just look at the number alone, because people were just reporting on the numbers. Mm-hmm. Right? We, we weren't like... Oh, it went up, went down. Oh, it went up. We weren't talking about that. We're just like, do you see the case number is this today? Mm-hmm. Whereas if I had said that to you before, like, you see the case number is 2,000? You'd be like, well, 2,000 is a lot. But now it's right, like, yeah. we're just brushing over that. Right. Yeah. Marketing, man. I, they, they've been saying that the hospitalization is going down. ICU has been going down, so... I actually didn't hear that yesterday when I heard the the update. I only heard like death and um, case count. Oh, well, it's because I look at I look at their CP twenty fours, like the Twitter. But okay, so you're looking at further data, mm-hmm. right? But I'm I don't, I'm not watching the headline. That's news. what I'm saying. I'm watching what everyone's ingesting. How many people are looking at Twitter right after? Well, I don't, yeah, no, 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 I mean, I only saying, look at Twitter, right? But so. you see what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, 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 it's yeah. like the people that ask the why, which is what you're doing, you're like, oh, let me dig deeper on this. And then the general narrative is this. Mm-hmm. But it's been in their headlines, too. I don't necessarily read into it all the time. No, no, but you're talking, or yeah, you're talking about headlines on a Twitter feed, right? Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about what the general populace is watching right, on right, a day-to-day right, right, basis. Right, right. I'm watching the news that everyone's watching. Right. Yeah. We, we, like nobody's like I don't know anybody's yeah, yeah, yeah. checking Twitter for the headlines mm-hmm. and like the, reading the article. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing that I found pretty interesting about the convoy thing is because I was watching it with my mom. Mm-hmm. That that's why I heard the case count, and they just kept replaying the same scene. And I'm like, if you replay that same scene, you're going to think that it's it's aggressive, right? Right, they showed like the people yelling at the police. I'm like, I'm pretty sure that was like, given this scene that you keep replaying, it was a 30 second scene. Yeah, but we have 24 hours in a day, <laughs> so most of that day is pretty boring. Yeah, that's why I like to but the, watch live or like yeah. try to like. Uh, that's why I'm trying to look for the like, tick, oh, they're doing nothing the, right now. like the TikTok lives. What yeah. was that? what was actually happening? Yeah, or like it, to actually be there to know what's exactly. That's what happening. I mean. And it's like it's just manicured realities. So if you watch like. But, but that's the thing. You're digging deeper. You're asking the why. Whereas I'm trying to see what other people are ingesting because it's like, oh, this is where their head is at. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And if all you watch is like the same clip over and over of people yelling at the police, you're going to think it is a terrorist thing. Mm-hmm. And then you can enact an emergencies act. Mm-hmm. But if you're like, if you have a live feed, you're like, oh, 20 hours of the day, they did nothing. Right. Would you still be like, oh, emergencies act? Mm-hmm. You wouldn't, right? Right, no, yeah. You wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Like, logically speaking, if you literally saw them just waiting, and then only two hours of the day that they had, like, some craziness happening, then you'd be like, this is this is not that bad. But they're trying to make it sound like they're overthrowing the government. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, marketing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you found the really in the number of the death? Yeah, I was looking at the numbers. So what was it? For today, I think it was 14 deaths today. Yeah, see? So 53 over the past month. Oh, I guess that would be... That wouldn't be making sense if it's 14. 14 deaths per day? Yeah. It's like averaging. So you're looking at like 300 deaths? Something like that. Theoretically, though. Theoretically, I'm saying like... That is if it's 14 deaths a day. Yeah, yeah but, but it's been like 
I've seen higher numbers than that. Oh, really? I yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why I didn't understand. Or maybe it's 52 because it's only been two weeks in the past month. Yeah, they said 52 in the past month. That actually makes sense. They said 52 deaths in the past month. Okay. It's only been two weeks. February. Oh, okay, okay, I see. So that's 25 deaths per Yeah, day, I was thinking like four weeks in a month. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, cool. No, no, no. Yeah, so they were correct. I did hear correctly. Okay, okay. 53 because it's only been like two weeks. But like ICU yeah, hospitalizations are down. Yeah. Okay. And then like our own. Um, from the waste management. Yeah, um, yeah, the checking the feces or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah that uh, it seems like. It's done. Yeah. It seems like uh, this Omicron uh, went through. Everyone? Not everyone's saying that it, they don't detect it as much anymore. So it's like it's... It's gone. It's gone yeah. through people's That's system. Good. So I don't know. Maybe I had it. I don't even know I had it. <laughs> it must be. There, or, yeah, there, like theoretically speaking, we must have had it. We just didn't know we had theoretically it. Theoretically speaking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, whatever. That's why you get vaccinated, people. So that you don't... You don't catch anything too serious. Okay, last thing, just to keep it happy. Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, you loving it? The update. Yeah, I'm, I'm, up. I'm liking it, but it's because I didn't play it for so long, so I don't remember what it was like before. Oh, but, okay, okay. But, okay. It, but it, this one is the PS five version, so performance is at sixty FPS. If you understand what that means, everything runs smoothly. Because when I watched you play, I was like, oh, it looks really good now. And you're mm. like, well, it's PS five version. I'm like, oh, okay, true, yeah, because I was playing PS four. Right. Like, yeah. yeah, I think PS4. I think they still had an issue with the. Uh, they just released another patch for the PS4. Oh, really? Oh. The, the the issue was for people with discs um, to play the game. It wasn't loading in or something. Oh, weird. Yeah. So that was. Uh, um, yeah, they're really trying to correct their mistake here. But I think what I what I like what they've done now is, uh, it's interesting. Is uh, like their main slogan in of the video for because they've released a. You can play a trial version. So it's like the main slogan is love it or burn it. <laughs> so it's like, or like but what they're trying to say was like, you can love Night City or burn Night City. That's what they're trying to say. But the, but, what yeah, my message yeah. is understanding is um, By the you're game either going to yeah. love this game or you, you might still hate this game, but we got, we're giving you five hours to play yeah, and, yeah. and see how you feel about the game. So I think, cool. I think that's a good way to kind of, if people fell for the news of like, oh, it's really bad and they didn't pick up the game at all yeah. so now you can just pick it up try it for free for five hours and, and they need to make you can buy back. it and there's like a huge sale on it so if you want to buy it you can buy it if not, okay up to you yeah so i feel like they've hit that point now it's like okay well it's they, been a year right it's been a year almost like that, yeah, yeah. They, they need they need to make their money back yo because <laughs> they must have sunk a lot into that because it's been in production for so long right yeah, yeah it's been so long for this thing so i think I think I'll finish the game now. So yeah, cool. Yeah, I I couldn't I couldn't get past like I got pretty deep in the game, and then I just couldn't figure out where to go next. Right. I mean, I just hit after what I don't know how many hours the title card. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was like <laughs> I really didn't play much, but but I I think it was a very that, very very late title card though. No, I think that's just how they built it. Cause no, I know. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they said it was like twenty hours only the game if you just run through it. Right, right. But that's why I haven't played it. But it was the other things, and then it's like I just reached the title card. Yeah, it's interesting how they like <laughs> push that far back. Yeah. yeah, but it makes sense though when they hit the title card because that's when they introduce Johnny. Yeah, um, that's when it started. Whatever. Yeah, Counter Reese character. Yeah. Cool. So uh, I can't wait to hear how it ends because I just stopped that game. <laughs> but yeah, it's looking good. I do. I do like the world. Like it's very immersive. I found mm, when I was okay. playing it. Yeah. Are you gonna buy like now four apartments or something like that? Oh, that's cool. Oh, I didn't know that before. I didn't even know you could buy apartments before. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't. I didn't really like. I was trying to beat the story. I didn't really see what was going on. No. Yeah. That was with the new new update. Um, that they allow you to buy yeah. four apartments. Yeah, and some to do with the AI reactions are better. Oh, cool! Nice. Um, like the NPCs, and then oh, I like the adaptive triggers. They've put that to the PS5 game now. So, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. The so the gun style, thing. the gun trigger pushing. Yeah, it's so you could feel like it's an actual trigger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, 
cool. A lot of cool things. Yeah, finally, after a year. But yeah. So if uh, <laughs> if you're interested, try out the five hours for free, and then love it or burn it. Yeah, technically. Yeah. All right. Till next time. Tease fish. Peace. Bye. All right. Hope you enjoyed that episode. Uh, be sure to like, share, subscribe, all those fun things, and check out our sponsors: Zenro Clothing Co., Portion Bakery, and Podbean. Take it easy, fish. Peace.